Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I'm the Style Coach. Today's video is about a question I got following a color analysis I did a couple of weeks ago. In that video, I mentioned that orange is a color that is only warm. So if you know a little bit about color, if you study art or anything like that, or you're into color analysis and you watch loads of those videos, you'll know that colors can be made cool or warm by adding blue to make them cool, yellow to make them warm. So therefore, why can't we do the same with orange? Could we not do the same thing? So what I'm gonna do for you today is demonstrate using paints how orange changes when we add yellow and when we add blue as a little experiment to see what happens because it can be a little bit difficult to articulate maybe through words, so I'll just demonstrate it and talk you through uh, what I'm doing with the paints as I go. Okay, we'll just do a quick refresh on the color wheel as well, a little color theory before we dive into this, just as a reminder. So if you're new to the color wheel, um, just very simply, the color wheel is split into two. Uh, there's a warm side and there's a cool side. The warm side starts from red through to red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, and yellow, green. So all of this side, they're naturally warm colors. As we move across to the other side where we've got green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet, and red, violet, these are becoming cooler colors over here. So I could go ahead and mix my own orange using crimson red and medium yellow, but you know what? I already have an orange, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that to keep things simple. I'll just squeeze out a little bit here so we can work from this. And I'm gonna take my yellow and just pop a little bit on for mixing in a moment. And I'm gonna take my blue and do a little swatch out there too. So you'll notice here that I've been playing away with orange already, but I want to demonstrate to you what happens in real time as we start to mix these colors. So just to show you, orange by itself. Okay. Beautiful warm color made with two other warm colors, red and yellow. Okay, so this would be pretty difficult to wear with for somebody who's got cool undertones uh, because it's made up of two warm colors. But in theory, we should be able to add blue to this color in order for us to make it cool. But I just wanna to demonstrate to you if I added yellow, what would that look like? So let's take a look. So there you have a slightly more yellow orange, okay? We could continue in that same vein, just like I did here, until it starts to move into more yellow than it is orange. But really, you know, it's the color of a sunset, and um, it's really warm colors all the way through. It would be difficult to wear this if you are cool undertoned. It would start to bring out a yellowness in the skin, which is not terribly desirable. Okay, this time I'm gonna take my pure orange, but this time I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of blue. So we want to see this gradual uh, turning of the orange through to blue and to see if that actually turns the color cool. So we're gonna get the majority here in orange. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of blue to start with. Okay, a little bit of blue and mix that through. Okay, so technically, by adding blue, this should become a cool color. And the more blue we add, the cooler it should get. So right now I've just put in a small bit of blue. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so what you'll notice here is that the color has gone more brown than it has blue and it still has that orangey warm tone, uh, something that you'd find in the autumn palette probably, um, or even a spring palette. So we definitely haven't reached that coolness just yet. Let's go ahead and add in some more blue. Okay, a little bit more this time. Give it a good mix through. Okay, so now what we're seeing, 
So this is becoming um, more of a, a forest green than it is anything else right now. We certainly couldn't call this color orange anymore. This one we could get away with calling orange, but the more blue we add, it's moving further away from orange. Therefore, we couldn't say that, well, it's a cool orange. You could wear a cool orange because this color is no longer orange. It started become, to become this uh, deep, earthy, warm green. Um, I don't think anybody would put that on and say, oh, hey, I like that orange shirt on you. It's just not orange. So let's add in just one more dollop of blue to see what happens. Okay, so now we're definitely in a green space here and still, uh, you can still see quite a bit of warmth in there. If we went ahead and added in another dollop of blue, now we might be starting to get to a cooler place. Yes, definitely, as we mix this through. Okay, so now this color has become cool. We've got more blue than anything else in this color but it is a long way off from where we started with this orange. So I hope you liked that little demonstration of how orange simply cannot become warm. It literally changes colors into brown, which you know, we could lean into an orangey brown, which is still warm. But really, the more blue you add, it's, it starts to become far away from orange and is no longer orange, really, and starts to become these more um, warm greens. And then as we move into more blues, we get that blue green. And so I hope that demonstrates why orange is purely a warm color. And a lot of people would struggle to wear orange. I think it can look really good. You know, some of those um, deeper, earthier oranges can look really great on an autumn palette. So this orange color is in the autumn season and I'm a cool undertoned person and I hope you, this camera picks it up or the lighting that I have on right now picks it up that it doesn't really bring out the best of my skin compared to a blue next to my skin. Let me know if you have any other questions on colors and why some are warm and some are cool. And I'd be happy to answer them for you using paints or colored drapes to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Stay tuned also for more color analysis videos. They are on the way. They just take a little bit of time and uh, I need to, <laughs> to get people on board to be on YouTube, which is not always easy. But that's it for today's video. I do hope you liked it. And uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again next week. Take care.